Okay, gentlemen, we've already gone over the rules of the question. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Most importantly, protect yourself at all times. I say stop, stop whatever you're doing and listen to my commands. Punches in this area and up will be considered legal. Punches in this area and up will be considered legal. Chuck and want this? Mike Tyson turned pro nearly 12 years before Jake Paul was born, fought his final official match when Paul was eight years old. He's boxed 215 pro rounds compared to Paul's 52 rounds. But Jake Paul told us he's wearing the most expensive fight shorts ever with a price tag of a million dollars for the full wardrobe. His appearance has 380 carats and diamonds made by shoe surgeon Painted by Alec Monopoly, he wants to shine bright like a diamond here tonight as he is standing across from his father Greg's favorite fighter. His dad broke down in tears when he told him he was going to face Mike Tyson. We are putting the real into real and Tyson in his trademark coming out fast. Or how fast he can be at 58, Roy Jones. Stop, He's very fast at 58 still, as Let's you go, saw right there. He's still Mike, just, I'm just wondering how much can his leg take chasing Jake around the ring like that. Again, these are two-minute rounds. Tyson requested the two-minute rounds, wanting to see more action. He just landed the overhand right, testing the beard of Paul Early. The Paul has hit him, too. So they both are trading punches now. And Paul is using that ring to his advantage. He's better. Making uh, Tyson chase him around. He better. For Mike Tyson, taking a page out of his buddy Jay-Z, allowed him to reintroduce himself here on, with a minute up, left. And again, only to Owen. Jake Paul has to be careful when clinching with Mike Tyson. Just ask Kevin McBride, just ask Francois Bota, Evander Holyfield, you get the gist. Yep, Tyson's took a good one in. And the jaw. Oh, it was expected that he would use lateral movement. Soko used the jab, try to wear out Mike Tyson. Yeah. And everybody was saying, oh, right oh, nice Jake shot Paul. by Jake Paul. Nice right hand by Paul. That is his most effective punch. Again, he has knocked down or knocked out every opponent he has faced. There's the jab. Now Paul setting the rhythm. And Tyson coming in, burrowing in. Referee keep Mark Malloy telling Tyson to keep it above the belt, not below the combat That's sports second. demilitarized zone. Everybody was saying that Jake Paul would not going. be able to touch Mike Tyson, but this first round, he definitely touched him. He did. In surprising fashion. Really not Jake back. I think that's his most effective punch of the round. But then we see, uh, so yeah, the right hand there. grazes Mike Tyson by Jake Paul. That would have been a good shot had it been on the chin. So Mike barely escaped that one. Check it out, let's go! Veteran MMA striking coach. Man, I've known for over 20 years, dating back to our days in Japan with Pride Fighting Championships. Go, coach, Rafael Cordero, the chief second for Mike Tyson. And he told us that it was going to be technical, not a massacre, and that Paul will feel Tyson's heavy punches. Yeah, but Paul doing a good job of staying away from Mike yep. early, which is very smart on his behalf. And our unofficial scorer, Sean Wheelock, gave the opening round to the returning legend. Nice body shot by Paul with the right hand. Yeah, it was. I don't like Mike's legs at 58, though. The no. first round he's won in more yeah, than two yeah, decades. Yeah, I don't like Mike's legs. I don't like Mike's legs at all. And he wore that knee wrap during training. There were health issues and, of course, a lot of consternation, a lot of concern from a lot of people yep. about 58-year-old Mike Tyson returning. And yet, Mike Tyson 
facts. As a grown man, he makes his own decisions. Of he knows how the consequences can be in this sport. Of course he does. And he said, though, it reawakened. And we saw that he's biting his glove again. We did see that throughout his career, the habit of biting his glove. Oh, Mike. Or excuse me, Roy, which, hey, it beats biting ears, right, Roy? Yeah, yeah it does. But Jake missed him with a mean uppercut just a little while ago. I don't like that at all. Me either. And Paul, tempting fate with his hand flow. This full-throated throng, screaming Tyson. I don't like Tyson's legs. Something about his mouthpiece, too. Seconds, he keeps trying to put his mouthpiece back in his mouth. See that? Mm -hmm. I don't like that either. Not a good sign. Time, now we fight. In December, the NFL Christmas Game Day will be live on Netflix. The two December 25th games will feature the Kansas City Chiefs heading to Pittsburgh to face the Steelers in the day's first matchup, followed by the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Texans in Houston for the second game. Get ready for your new favorite holiday tradition. 23, 23 percent. Oh Tyson God, coming out him. aggressively. Tyson, 7 of 34, 18 percent. So Tyson is averaging more punches than he did in that fight with McBride and in the exhibition against Roy Jones, where he averaged 24 punches around. Like I said, I don't like the fact that they keep messing with that mouthpiece. Oh, that good. left hook. Triple left hook oh. by Paul. Oh, Mike's he hurt. Mike Tyson. is hurt. Yeah, Mike's hurt. Yes, he is. And Paul had him. Jab now. He landed three hooks, lands another left hook. A lead left hook clips Tyson's yeah. body shot Mike by Paul. Get caught by overhand right soon. And you know referee Mark Calloy has a very important task. All referees do, but oh. Mike Tyson taking punishment here in round three from Paul. Taking bad punishment. Mike does not look good right no, now. No, he does not look good at all. Does not look good at all. His age is showing. Yep, he's about out of there. Final minute. Mike Tyson said this fight reawakened the beast inside. It, it gave him something to look forward to. He's in a much better place mentally. He's in a great place with his family. And yet Mike Tyson said, no, I want a challenge. I want to see what I'm capable of doing. But man, oh man, 27-year-old chronological physical peak training regularly and mike tyson in trouble here in round three he's in big trouble big this trouble. might be his last round and jake the paul fatigue yeah jake paul that extra weight that everybody said was going to slow him down not slowing him down not against mcbride 20 years ago tyson weighed a sluggish 233 he just got rocked again with that left hook and resorts to biting his left glove seconds, he needs to bite down on his gum shield and Try to produce nostalgia, more nostalgia than Grandma's basement with a punch, but things are looking good for the legend. Not good at all. You gotta breathe and relax, Jim. Here you see Jake Paul land a beautiful jab with a right hand first, right there, and knock Mike off balance two times. And, and Mike was highly off balance right there. I don't like how his legs look. Second yeah, time, something wrong with the mouth gear. That, that affects his oxygen intake, right? Yeah, something wrong with... No, I he's fighting. So. I've seen it throughout his career. It's interesting, but he does bite his gloves, even in preparing to, for this fight, going no, back no. through his history. I think he had a problem with his mouthpiece. I, 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 I have to tell you, Roy, I've seen it in a lot of fights with Tyson. I don't think that's the case. Power punches in the third round. Paul, one of 11. 11 of 22, 50%. Tyson, four of 11, 
36%. And unofficial score, Sean Wheelock gave Paul the, his first round. Right hand. And CompuBox has Paul more than doubling Tyson in total punches landed. Well, you fought Mike Tyson at 54. What right. do you think he needs to do? Well, he's he not the same now as he was at 54. His legs don't look nearly as good as they did when I fought him. So his legs look like they've gone down a lot. See that right there? He didn't do that against me. I didn't see much of that. So he needs to be able to attack more, but his legs won't get into the job. So he can't get there. His Jake, legs are failing him. Yeah. Failing him. Sorry, and Jake looks very, very com confident. And relaxed, and relaxed yeah. because he knows Mike's legs are failing him. And, and even, keep biting that mouthpiece again. Even in the last fight where Paul faced Mike Perry when Tyson had health issues, we did see Perry, or excuse me, Paul take deep breaths, but looking, again, we talked about fight management earlier uh, with the, the energy, the pressure. Uh, I mean, the main eventing, the first boxing event on Netflix against a living legend, and Jake Paul settling into a rhythm here in round four. Well, body shot by Jake Paul, too. Left hook lands for Paul. And watching training camp footage of Tyson, you could see at times, even when he threw punches, Roy, that he would put himself off balance. The, the balance has been an issue. Yes, it has, but I fought him in 2020. I've never seen him do his mouthpiece like he's doing it tonight. There you go. Give me, give me motherfucking good. Remember, man, you, you control everything. You can slow all the way fucking down, Jay. You do what you want to do, motherfucker. Huh? Walking, stabbing, stutter step, step. You walk slow, but your speed is still. Yeah, yeah. He see Jake Paul land a good right hand to the body after the jab. The lay the jab there and threw a good right to the body. Push Mike off balance again because Mike wasn't ready for it. You don't like to see those kind of punches land because that tells you that his reflexes are off and Coach they're out. not what they used to be. Second show. Second show. Round five. And just like that, we are already beginning the second half of this eight round heavyweight attraction. A, my, a rule tweak instead of three minute rounds. They are fighting two minute rounds and Jake Paul's trainer, Theo Chambers, hails from Detroit's legendary quant gym where he was a pupil of the estimable Emmanuel Stewart whose mantra was knockout sell and both of them are promising KOs here tonight. And Jake's actually boxing beautiful here. Though Mike is older and Mike has more rhythm, Jake's boxing very beautiful. Nice one, Jake. two catches, Tyson. Yeah, Jake is looking at that chin. Yep, he's trying to get Mike. See how he's still getting that mouthpiece? I just don't understand that. And I, I don't want to debate or get into an argument with your Hall of Famer, but like I say, it has, it has been a tick of his in fights past. And I don't know what it is. And maybe maybe his son Amir, who's been a great uh, asset to us tonight, can find out sometime. But in terms of Jake Paul, you're right, Roy. He's he's turning into a boxer. Yeah, oh, good oh. shot by Mike. Oh, and again, the left hook. Good shot by Mike. And Paul's hands are low. Thirty seconds left in the fifth. Paul was averaging 35 punches around coming in. We talked about Tyson, of course. Uh, you can't really talk about any stats because it's been 20 years. Ten seconds left in the fifth. Body shot by Paul. Right hand lands for Paul. Good right hand by Paul, but oh. Mike takes a good shot still. Lead, lead left oh. by Tyson. Yes, Mike is taking those shots. Yes. 
But the question is, for how long? <laughs> you move very well. You need to get off the first, man. Can't wait. Let's stop the more first, I know. We're going to see if we're going to come in and be more good. Don't let your face too much. I like the way you move outside, man. It can follow you. So you can move forward a little bit more. We're going to move forward. Breathe and relax. We'll see you on double jab. Jab, double jab, jab. Here we see Paul look down and come over with overhand right. Wow. Right really? on Tyson's nose. Good shot. A little bit lower. Might have ended the fight, but that was a good shot. Looked like it hurt Mike a little bit. And then you see a left hook right there that was partially blocked by Mike's shoulder. But then Mike landed a left hook on the neck. He hit him clean and hit him on the neck. So that and wasn't going to have more Tyson's on it. neck is one of the more developed in the sport. Very bad. And of course, a strong neck helps you absorb punches. If I meant Mike's punch, hit Jake on the neck. Yeah, yeah. And Jake, of course, working his neck as uh, well. I mean, all fighters do neck exercises to absorb the blows. But for Jake Paul, it's dictating the terms and everything being equal. You don't want to overhype, undersell. Again, he's facing a 58-year-old man, and we're just trying to, to tell the story of the fight, Rosie. Uh, but it's a hard story to, to watch. Yeah, yeah, I, I, think, I, think, I think we can see all we're going to see from Mike as far as dangerous shots. <laughs> if Jake's smart, he'll just fight him from the outside now and keep beating like that and having his way. All right, let's go uh, check in with Ariel Hawani in Jake Paul's corner. I'm here with Jay Leon Love. Jay Leon, how do you think Jake's doing? He's doing great. Boxing, boxing well, comfortable, in control. Is the finish near, you think? I mean, we just setting it up, we boxing. It'll happen. Keep boxing, baby. I heard, I heard Logan say, use the jab more. Do you want to see him use the jab more? Of course, it's the most important punch in boxing. And you got a guy that's slow, sitting there, stagnant, use that jab, break him down. Thanks, good luck. Yes, Using the jab to break down Tyson. 40 seconds left in the sixth. Tyson moving laterally, unable to, and his former trainer Teddy Atlas wondered whether he would still have the delivery system. Ten seconds, Warriors. It appears he doesn't. No, he doesn't have it anymore. Legs are gone. Time. Question I have is why isn't Jake Paul just teeing off on him? I don't want that to happen.